Question 25. We have three points A, B, and C, and C includes the coordinates for K. These are the vertices of a right angle triangle ABC, and angle ABC is the right angle. We need to find an equation of the line that passes through A and C, and give that in the form AY plus BX. Let's draw a sketch. So if we've got our triangle here, we know that the right angle is ABC, we call it A. A is at minus 2, 1, B is 5, and C is at 4, A. Now, if we were to try and find the equation of this line here, we'd have it in terms of K, and we can't actually include that in our answer. So we need to find a way to find the value of K. What we can do here is, since we know these are two, uh, both at right angles, if we were to find the gradient of this line, we know that it's perpendicular to the gradient of this line, and that should find, give us a way to find out k. So let's first consider the gradient of a to b. So, we take the y value here, and subtract the y value here, that's 1, and then the x value here, and subtract the x value here. 5 minus 1 is 4, 6 subtract minus 2 is 8, the gradient of that line is a half. The gradient of B to C is perpendicular to that line, so it's the negative reciprocal of this value, that's minus 2. Let's calculate this using K. So, the change in the Y value from B to C. 5 minus k, and the change in the x value is 6 minus 4. So we have 5 minus k, 6 minus 4 is 2, and we know that's equal to the gradient here, minus 2. Now we can use this to work out the value of k. 5 minus k is minus 4, minus k, minus 4, minus 5, which is 9. So the value of k is 9. From there, we can actually work out the equation of this line. We now know that this point is 4, 9. So, the gradient of these between these two, so gradient from M A to C, is the change in the y value, so 1, take 9, over minus 2, take 4, minus 8 over minus 6, or 4 over 3. And now we need to find the equation of the line. We can do that using y minus y1 is m minus x1. So we'll use the point a here. y minus 1 is the gradient of 4 over 3, x plus 2. Let's multiply everything by 3. 3y minus 3 is 4. x plus 8. And then we'll rearrange into this form. So we'll take away the 4x, which is 3y minus 4x. We'll add on the 3 is 11. 